everywhere, people want more out of life, and you probably do too. At the same time, there's something that holds you back. Have you ever thought about what that is? What is that thing within you that's sort of oh, pulling you back when you know you should be giving it everything you've got? There's something in your mind that is actually working against you. So let's take a look at this uh, from a different perspective. It's based on a natural law. And so the more we lean into the law, the more we work with it, the better results we get. But most people don't. We are literally programmed to work against the law in many situations in our life. And that's why stagnation uh, occurs. And that's why it feels like we're taking a step backwards sometimes. It's trans it, that actually happens because of a transgression of the law meaning we're not working with the law. So the more we work with these laws, the more smooth of a ride we will have throughout life. And uh, that's a beautiful thing. One of the things we have to recognize, and I think we've uh, illustrated this before, but there's, there's energy in us, around us. That is what we're comprised of, nothing but energy. And the thing you want more of is on a certain level of vibration, all these lines are level of frequent, levels of frequency. So right now, let's say you're here and you say, I want to go here. And there is a, there's something that blocks you from doing that because you hyper-focus on maybe past results, resources, lack of them, or whatever it might be. So right now you're thinking here and your thinking is producing your results that are right here. Your goal is up here. And it requires you to think from a completely different place. And so the technique that you will learn today will enable you to actually step into that role of the person who's already there. But you see, most people say, I want this, but I can't because. I want that out of life, but I can't because this is not here yet. The resources aren't here. The ideas aren't here. The right people aren't here. Can you recognize that? Can you recognize that pattern in your own life where you, where you say to yourself, I want this, I would like to achieve that, but I can't because. And everything that follows because is something that your mind is caught up in. And out of that comes the problem. Out of that preoccupation with present results, past results, out of that is where all problems arise. So how do we deal with that? How do we actually get to a point where you take conscious control over that and enable and, and raise your, your awareness so much that you're able to solve it? Because the truth is, everything is possible right here, right now. And people think success is so complicated. It has to be complicated, right? It's not complicated at all. It's actually pretty simple. It's just not easy. Because your old programming is holding you back from actually executing on this. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you saw a one-sided pancake? And then you go, well, what has that to do with anything, Anders? I'll get back to that. When was the last time you saw a one-sided pancake or a one-sided house? Right? It doesn't exist. Somehow or the other, there's always two sides or more to anything. For anything to exist in this universe... There's always two sides to it. Nothing can exist without two sides. That's the law of polarity. It's one of the seven primary laws of the universe. And um, the awareness of these laws dates back way back to the old Egyptians. Uh, and they knew something about success, didn't they? And all of that is something I study. The primary laws, among other things, in some in a book called The Cabalion, which is really deep. And I've studied it for years now, and it's incredible. And it centers around the primary laws of the universe. But you are actually learning today to utilize one of these laws, one of these success principles to solve any problem in your life. It's not a situation problem. It's not a resource problem. If you find yourself saying, I can't because you are in that trap, recognize you're in the trap. That is the first step. Like my good friend and mentor, Bob Proctor, always said, you cannot escape a prison if you don't know you're in one. <laughs> what? Exactly. You have to recognize first that you are trapped by saying that to yourself, I cannot because. That is a mental trap you put up for yourself. The truth is, everything has two sides. If you can focus on why you can't, 
by the very nature of the law of polarity, you will be able to focus on how you will. That's a big idea because if everything has two sides to it, you must be able to look at a situation from multiple angles at the same time. And now we actually talk about another mental tool called perception, because that's really what it is. Perception is a mental faculty. It's a mental tool that enables you to switch your perception on any situation. The truth is, the moment you become aware of the problem, the solution is there in the same instant. So why is it that we don't see it? Why is it that you don't recognize the solution? Well, that is because you are thinking on two different frequencies. Back to this idea here. So your current situation is right here. You're focused on the problem. The solution is not on that frequency. The solution is up here on a completely different frequency, but they exist at the same time. And you bring into, you call into your life um, what you call into your life based on your focus. So if your focus is on the situation and the resource problem, uh, etc., then that's what you get more of. But if you train yourself, and I'll provide a tool today to help you shift that, if you train yourself to switch your perception, you will find a solution. But it, it never, um, it, it's always, it, it, you know, see the problem is people look outside, they look through their senses and they recognize a problem. And then they think that the solution comes from the same source. It doesn't. The solution is inside. It's in your infinite source of supply. It's by you connecting to a higher side of your personality using your perception. So think of it this way. So your, your mind, your, your mental toolbox sits right between pure energy, spirit, and the grossest part of our uh, world, matter. The grossest part is the matter. It's physical matter. Spirit, matter, right in the middle sits your mind. And you can utilize your mind to go to pure energy and download whatever you have to download to solve any problem on the physical plane. Any problem. So why don't we do that? You may ask. Why don't we do that? We don't do that because we are programmed to go to the physical first instead of the spiritual. That's really the problem. So it's not a resource problem. It's not a situation problem. It is a perception problem. And everything happens when you shift your perception. I spent 20 years in the entertainment industry, and I kept asking myself, why did I do this? It was hard work. It didn't make sense. And I felt sorry for myself in the end. You know how that goes, the old victim mentality. But when I decided... What I wanted out of life, I realized, I shifted my perception on my 20 years of doing this, realizing I just prepared myself for something even greater. When I was really sick, I mean, I'm really sick to a point where a doctor said, you're probably not going to recover. You probably need these drugs for the rest of your life. How can you consider that a win, right? But I actually recognized pretty quickly that it was because I learned a lot in that process. And some of the hardest moments in my life was also the ones that propelled me forward the most and enabled enabled me to learn the most and the same with you so just shifting your perception in those situations enables you to find the gold in them and there's a lot of great gifts we're being given in ugly wrappings all the time but if you focus on the ugly wrapping get guess what you're getting more of Yes, you're right. Ugly wrappings. Oh, I always have this and this always happens to me and it's always like this. Well, what if you change your perception and you ask yourself this question, what is it that I'm programmed not to see here? What is the illusion? And speaking of illusion, I've been working on a new one and we'll see if we have time for it today. But anyways, I'll come back to that maybe. Um, what is the illusion here? What is it that I'm programmed not to see? Because now you're not questioning the situation anymore. What are you questioning? You're questioning your perception. We need to stop questioning the resources. Stop questioning the situation. Stop questioning the diagnoses and all the terrible things that happen. And start questioning your perception of the situation. It is not a resource problem. It's not a money problem. It is not a uh, situation problem. It is what? It is a perception problem.
Everything is already here. It's available to you. So why don't you have it, you ask? We don't have it in our life because we're blocked off from it. I just spoke to a wonderful lady here literally just an hour ago. She has been, her life purpose was staring her in the face for a long time. She couldn't see it though because her perception was on her and not her life purpose. It took her grandson, a little kid, to show her something that caused something in her to shift combined with my dialogue with her. And all of a sudden, everything shifted. Now she saw what she hadn't seen for so long, even though it was right there. What was missing? Her awareness of it, her perception of it. So everything is available to you. All the resources, all the ideas, all the insights, all the triumphs, everything that you want is already here. And so, you know, when you actively go for this and you keep asking yourself, what is the illusion here? What is it that I'm programmed not to see? You'll start finding gold, literally, right on your doorstep. You'll realize that all the bad things that happened in the past were all necessary. They were all an essential piece of the puzzle to bring you to where you are. I've had business leaders, people in our community, clients who were faced with, with what they thought were insurmountable, insurmountable problems, but they realized they were actually amazing gifts in disguise because they learned how to switch their perception around to see something they didn't see before. And so you and I can do this. We can do it often and we should do it often. Instead of getting hyper-focused on resources, let's focus on our perception of it. It's never a resource problem. It's a perception problem. Come back to that law always. Anytime you have a challenge, realize there's two sides to everything. One thing you can do is bring another person in and have them look at the situation. How would, and think about it. Like you have, a, let's say you think you have a money problem. You really don't. You have a mindset problem. But let's leave that for another video. Um, let's say you think you have a money problem. Uh, you're missing. You, you, you need, I don't know, 50,000. And they're missing. How do you think Elon Musk would look at that problem? How do you think, if you brought his consciousness into the picture and ask yourself, how would Elon Musk think about this? Would he think of $50,000 as a lot? Probably not. Now you're bringing perception in. Truth is, nothing is big or small or this or that. It's all relative to something else. And that's another primary law of the universe we can save for another video one of these days. When you shift your perception, you start realizing that you have infinite supply accessible to you right at your doorstep. It's not a situation problem. It is a perception problem. And actually, um, I mentioned this thing um, that I, this illusion, this is the puzzle of life. You are faced, it's faced with a lot of different situations, a lot of different pieces to the puzzle, and they all fit within this frame. All right. We'll uh, hang that here for now. So, all these puzzles, pieces, represent life situations. So you have your successes, you have your failures, triumphs, and everything in between. Everything that makes up your life the way it is. Your business, your job, everything sort of fits together. You know, we've learned to make things fit together in a perfect harmony. And everything is fine. Everything is just okay. In life's puzzle, as you can tell, it all fits. Until, and this is when it gets really interesting, until that happens. And you go, oh, snap. That I didn't realize. I didn't expect it. It was, what, what does that piece represent to you? Is it, the, um, is it the failure in your business? Is it your... Did you lose your job? Is it the divorce? Is it the illness? What does this piece represent to you? And most people, they try and fit it into life's puzzle, but it doesn't really work, does it? It sort of sticks out. And oh my gosh, we can um, try and use the ostrich technique, you know, just ignoring ourselves out of the problems. That won't work because it's still here. And we see it's there. And we recognize that no matter how we look at it, it still occupies a lot of space in our consciousness until you start using that question. What is, what is it that I'm programmed 
not to see here. And as you do that, everything sort of starts to shift because you realize it's not a situation problem. It's not a resource problem. It is a perception problem in your mind. And as you start switching your perception, you will see all of these pieces fitting together again in a beautiful, wonderful harmony. Well, then we think things go great. We solved the problem. We're coasting along and everything is fine again until that happens. And you go, oh my gosh, it's a bigger problem now. It's a bigger issue than before. But like we talked about, you're never presented with situations in life that are larger than your capacity to solve them. If you're still here on the physical plane, that means the power within you is stronger than anything and everything you're being met with. And when you utilize that mental tool called perception and ask yourself, What's it, what is it that I'm programmed not to see here? What is the illusion? You realize it was never a situation problem. It was always a perception problem. And that really enables you to live life in a magical way where all pieces continue to fit together. And if you ask me, that is real magic. So perception is the key to solve all life problems for you. Stay with it. Watch these videos numerous times until the idea really sinks in and it becomes automatic for you to ask yourself in any situation, what is it that I'm programmed not to see here? And when you do that, you have actively taken control of your mind and the situation. It is no longer the situation that controls you. You control the situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have linked to a couple more right here that I think you would like. Now, until next time, it's not who you are that holds you back. It's all the illusions of who you think you're not. This is Anders Hansen. Thank you.